we've got a lead main here in this property and that's a rising main it's probably been in there for 80 or 100 years and uh, we've decided to replace it you can replace it through your utility company if you uh, inquire with them they'll tell you how you go about changing it so what we're going to do is we're going to run a new pipe to the property which is this which is 25mm MDPE pipe in order to run it you need to dig a trench outside your property and inside your property you need to put a suitable duct that needs to be 110 millimetres so down here we've got a reasonably sized hole and there we've got the duct in that goes underneath the foundations and uh, we're just going to go outside now and you can see the actual trench so this is the outside of the property and there you can see the 110 mil duct that's coming underneath the foundation and then the trench goes that way and there's a bit of shore in there to hold it up because it was going to collapse and then the trench ends just before the back door to the property so that's the shore in again and then if we go along you can see that that started to fill with a bit of water and then that is the actual back gate there and there is the actual stop tap outside so what we've done is we've put a piece of drain pipe and we've pushed it through the clay at the correct height so we can now remove that drain pipe and we can push the MDPE pipe through the clay ready for the utility company to come and connect us up to the stop tap so we've got the duct in, in the correct position down there in the corner and this is the pipe that we need to thread through the duct in and you'll see that I've taped the cap on the end there then it can't come off so we're now going to feed the MDPE pipe through the duct in and once we get it outside we're going to put this rubber seal on so the pipe will go through the rubber seal like that that will fit in the duct in and that will seal it perfectly and then for inside we're going to put this insulation on and this is a special closed cell insulation and uh, we're going to slide that down the duct in from inside because the actual water pipe is coming up on the inside of the property less than 750 millimeters away from the wall you need to insulate it so we're now going to start feeding the pipe down the duct in so now we've got the pipe in the correct position outside so I'm now going to push the insulation over the pipe and into the ducting and uh, I have got somebody outside who's watching for the ducting coming out of the other end and uh, when it comes out I will then stop pushing it and I can cut it off at the correct length So we've now got the insulation all the way to the other end of the duct so I'm now going to cut the insulation off just below the top of the duct in on the inside so I'm now going to place the seal over the pipe and I'm going to slide that down we're not actually going to seal this yet because the actual utility company have to send an inspector out to come and inspect this so I'm not actually going to use any kind of sealant to seal that in there just yet until the inspector's been because he'll probably want to have a look in there and make sure that we have lagged the pipe with the correct insulation so I've already made this piece up so that's the correct size stop tap which is 25mm MDPE in that side which goes through there to 15mm and then we've got the drain off valve and then as you come further up we've then got a stop end on the end so I'm now going to connect this to the MDPE pipe tighten it up and then I've already put a piece of wood there to the wall with some clips and so we can then clip that to the wall and then when they come and connect up the pipe everything's ready for us to start connecting our internal plumbing up so I'm now going to cut the pipe off at that height using the plastic pipe cutters so 
So the next step is to put an MDPE pipe insert into the pipe. I'll just tap that now. And now if we split the stop tap, it's just a normal compression fitting. So we've got the compression nut, the compression olive, and then the stop tap body. So we can now just tighten that nut up. So now all I need to do is hold the stop tap to stop it from moving and then tighten up the compression nut at the bottom using a suitable size spanner. and that should be plenty tight enough. Now I've got the stop tap fastened to the MDPE, we can now move it into position and we can clip the copper pipe onto the clips that I've put up earlier. So that's a new MDP pipe that we just put in, goes to the stop tap, got a clip, drain off valve and two more clips and then a stop end. Uh, I'm not filling the trench in down here because I'm waiting for the inspector to come and inspect all this before we fill that in. Temporarily I've put a piece of wood across there to hold that pipe in position. Once the inspector's been and he's happy with it we can then fill all this back in again and we can then fill the trench outside and then the water board will come and connect up the new pipe. So this is the end of the pipe that's going to be pushed through the boundary of the property and this needs to be pushed out at least two feet. So before we push it out we're going to put a insert in there and then we're going to put a stop end on and that just pushes on and once it's all the way home you just tighten that up and then we push that through the soil for at least two feet until it exits the boundary of the property. So as you can see it's a, an Easter Monday and uh, as usual the weather hasn't works out in our favour and it's absolutely chucking it down out there. So you can now see that the trench that we dug where we were waiting for the inspector is now full of about a foot of water and uh, we've attempted to cover it up with some kind of sheeting and we've also put some shuttering down each side of the trench to stop it from collapsing. Uh, we had a collapse earlier that needed redigging out and uh, as you can see it's just completely sodden. So the inspector came around a couple of days ago and he was quite happy with the new water pipe and uh, he has actually signed it off so he's now given us a date when the actual water board will come and connect up the pipe at the boundary of the property. So what I did then is I refilled the trench that we dug on the inside here using the clay, I compacted that down using my feet and then I put about three inch of quick set concrete on the top which comes in bags like that. So all I did with the quick set concrete was pour it in the hole and then I leveled it off. It took about three bags to fill that little area. Level it off with a piece of wood and then I sprayed it with some clean water. And the clean water makes the concrete set and now it is rock hard. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the finish of it because the whole floor in this kitchen area will be screeded eventually.